Okay, this is a lesson on how to use the TI-83 calculator. First of all, you need to know that the calculator is quite intelligent, and it does know the order of operations. And you might have remembered it from another class as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which means you do parentheses first, then exponents, then you multiply and divide from left to right, and then you add and subtract from left to right. Well, the calculator knows this. So if you don't override anything, it's going to go into these order of operations. So for example, if you have this problem, 3 plus 2 divided by 5, if you do that in your head, you know that's going to be 5 divided by 5, which is going to be 1. But what's always amazing to me is somebody will type it into their calculator as 3 plus 2 divided by 5, and they come up with the answer 3.4, and they're going to believe the calculator over what they know is correct. So but they go, oh, it must be on the calculator. It must be true. Well, what's going on is the calculator, again, is using the order of operations. So it, there's no parentheses and there's no exponents. So the first thing it's going to do is multiply and divide from left to right. So the calculator thinks you want to divide 2 by 5 and then add 3 to it. So your calculator is going to spit out 3.4. Now, that is not correct, as we know. So how do you override that? How do you tell it that it wants 3 plus 2? all divided by 5 is you use the parentheses. 3 plus 2 divided by 5, then press your Enter button, and it will give it to you. It will give you the correct answer, which is 1. Now, another problem when, when you first begin working with this calculator is the difference between a negative sign and a minus sign. A negative sign is an operation, and they're on the right-hand side in blue. Uh, I mean, the minus sign is the operation. It's in the right-hand side in blue. The negative sign is to the left of the enter sign, and it's in parentheses. It looks like this. So in this case, if you were to push the minus sign and then the 3, it's going to think that you're wanting to subtract it from a previous answer. It doesn't know what you're talking about, and you get an error message. So what you need to do to do this is make sure you're doing the negative sign and then push 3, and then push the minus sign, and then 5, and you'll get negative 8 for your answer. So looking down here at this problem, again, same thing with the order of operations. If you simply type in 6 plus 2 divided by 1 plus 1, think for a second, what do you think the calculator is going to think you're doing? So if you're thinking correctly, you're thinking that the calculator is going to take 6, add it to 2 divided by 1, and then add 1 to that answer. And of course, that's not what you're wanting it to do. So again, use parentheses 6 plus 2 divided by parentheses 1 plus 1. And again, these are relatively simple problems I'm using as examples. Of course, they're much more difficult in the book. And then the other thing is, how do you raise something to the third power or to the fourth power or to the fifth power, uh, like on this particular problem? 3 divided by 2 cubed. How you're going to handle that is you're going to go 3 divided by 2, and then right above the divided by sign is a symbol that looks like this. It's called a caret, and that allows you to raise it to any power. So you would use the caret sign and then the 3. So that would take care of that. Now, how, would, how is this problem different than this problem? Now, notice in this problem you want the whole 3 divided by 2 to the third power. So think again, if you write it as 3 divided by 2 cubed, the only thing it's going to take to the third power is the 2. So how would you, how would you uh, eliminate that situation? Again, simply use your parentheses, 3 divided by 2, caret to the third power.